Venture into the ancient realms of our planet as we unveil the top 15 oldest trees on Earth. These venerable giants have silently witnessed centuries of history and change. From towering sequoias to ancient yews, these trees stand as testaments to the enduring power of nature. Join me. We're going to embark on a journey through time to discover these natural wonders that have graced our world for millennia. These are the top 15 oldest trees in the world. Let's start with number 15, the Sisters Olive Trees of Noah. If local folklore is to be believed, the Sisters Olive Trees of Noah may just be the oldest trees on the planet. Located in the Lebanese town of Basile, oral history claims that the trees are not only about 6,000 years old, but were also the source of the olive branch brought to Noah's Ark. However, to date, no work has been done to analyze the tree rings of the olive grove, meaning that it's impossible to know for certain how old these trees truly are. Number 14. The Bennett Juniper at a height of 24 meters and a diameter of nearly 4 meters, the Bennett juniper is the largest known juniper in the United States. At an estimated age of about 3,000 years old, it's also one of the oldest. However, the exact age has been difficult to pinpoint. This is because it turns out the inside of the tree is partially rotten and hollow, and as a result, it's difficult to get a precise age using the widely accepted tree ring counting technique. Number 13. Sarvi Abarca if you happen to be a Zoroastrian, then you may have heard of Sarvi Arbarka. It's located in the Yazad province in Iran. It's a sizable Persian cypress tree, coming in at 25 meters in height and 18 meters in width. It's likely to be between 4 to 5,000 years old. Some Zoroastrians believe that the tree was first planted by their religion's founder, known as Zoroaster. He supposedly planted it on his way to another city. However, whether or not this actually happened is up for debate. Number 12. The Jerupa Oak Clonal trees are able to grow even when the top stems die off, and the Jerupa Oak is one such tree. Consisting of several trees that make up a clonal colony, they were discovered in California's Jerupa Mountains by botanist Mitch Provence in the 1990s, and they stand apart due to their uncanny ability to grow after wildfires. While it may sound strange, when the colony's branches burn, these burned branches will sprout new shoots. The data has shown that this has been happening for about 13,000 years, making the Jerupa Oak truly incredible. Number 11. The President If you want to see a tree that's both old and large, the President is worth a visit. Located in California's Sequoia National Park, the tree in question is about 75 meters high, 8.2 meters in diameter, and is the third largest tree in the world by volume. It's this imposing size that gave it its nickname, as it was named after President Warren G. Harding in 1923. Most impressive of all, despite being so massive, it's also lasted a long time, as its age of about 3,200 years old makes it the oldest living sequoia and one of the oldest trees on the planet. Number 10. Antarctic Beech Now, technically speaking, a fairy ring of Antarctic beech trees in Queensland, Australia are considered to be the oldest trees in the world. Believed to be about 12,000 years old, their top spot is contested due to one simple fact. They're clonal. What this means is that rather than actually be 12,000 years old, the trees in the fairy ring have lived and died for a periods of a few thousand years. However, they're exact clones of a tree that lived 12,000 years ago, making their DNA 12,000 years old. According to many experts, this means that the tree ring is not deserving of the top spot. However, it is still open for debate, and we're curious to hear what you think in the comments. It's also worth mentioning that this tree's name also seems to be a bit of a misfit. After all, despite hailing from Australia, the tree is known as the Antarctic Beach. Well, why the strange name? Well, it turns out that about 180 million years ago, Antarctica was a much warmer place. And as a result, the Antarctic Beach was able to live there. However, as the south got colder and the supercontinent of Gondwana began to break apart, the Antarctic beach began to climb its way northward, and today it can be found in East and Southeast Australia, New Zealand, New Guinea, and New Caledonia. Number 9. The Pitchford Hall Treehouse while technically not a tree, I think it's worth mentioning that the world's oldest tree house is on this list. It's located close to the English town of Shrewsbury. Pitchford Hall is a Tudor-style estate that's been a historic home of the Earls of Liverpool. This estate is worth visiting in its own right, yet what gets it a spot on this list is the famous tree house. First mentioned in documents in 1692, it sits in an old lime tree and was constructed in a way that's visually similar to the larger Pitchford Hall. 
It's masterfully constructed. It's been renovated several times over the years, and the end result is a beautiful home complete with partially glazed doors, a carved molded cornice ceiling, a stripped oak floor, and gothic windows on all sides. If that wasn't cool enough, it even has hosted royalty. In 1832, it was visited by Queen Victoria when she was still a princess. While there, she watched a fox hunt from the treehouse and wrote in her diary that the treehouse was, quote, a curious looking but very comfortable house. It's stripped black and white and in the shape of a cottage, end quote. Beyond this piece of historical significance, it's also worth noting that the treehouse is constantly under maintenance. When it was first built in the 1600s, the treehouse was supported entirely by the tree. However, due to its age, the tree is now held up by metal supports and wires, ensuring that it will remain standing for decades to come. If you'd like to go for a visit, tours cost about 25 bucks, making a visit here rather pricey, but by most accounts, totally worth it. Number 8. La Chaine Chapelle while a tad different from most of the other trees on this list, La Chaine Chapelle stands apart for being the oldest and perhaps only tree chapel in the world. Located in the small town of Alouville Bellefosse in northern France, La Chaine Chapelle is inside what's considered to be the country's oldest tree, a spindly oak tree. It's believed to be about 800 and 1200 years old and was reportedly visited by Charlemagne and William the Conqueror. While it is unclear whether or not these claims are true, what is certainly true is that it was struck by lightning sometime in the 1600s. The lightning strike went right through the middle of the tree, and despite creating a large cavity in there, somehow it still stood tall. In response, local abbot Du de Trois and village priest Father Du Cerceau claimed the lightning strike was a miracle and therefore had holy origins. In response, a pilgrimage site and chapel dedicated to the Virgin Mary was soon built there. Over time, a winding staircase and two chapels were added, giving its nickname of La Chaine Chapelle, which translates to the Chapel Oak in English. However, despite the tree's incredible past, it's seen its fair share of trials and tribulations. Most notably, it was nearly destroyed during the French Revolution when a mob wanted to burn it down due to it being associated with the church. However, a local renamed the tree to the Temple of Reason, thus saving it from its fiery fate. As a result of this and other restoration efforts, such as the implementation of poles and wooden shingles to hold up the stairs and chapel, the tree can still be visited to this day, making it a cool day trip for anyone located in northern France. However, if you're interested in visiting, we'd suggest making the trip soon. Due to its advanced age, the chapel's host tree is beginning to wither away, meaning that La Chaine Chapelle may not be around for much longer. Moving on to number 7. Clangernu U. While it's clear that the Hlengernu U is old, there's a lot of debate surrounding exactly how old it is. Located in Conway, Wales, the tree is estimated to be between four to 5,000 years old, although in this particular case, getting an exact date is pretty difficult. You see, unlike most other trees, this U's core has been lost to the ages. As a result, its age had to be determined using radiocarbon dating rather than the tree ring counting making the data not quite as accurate. It's also worth noting that another alternative theory exists, that the tree is only as old as adjacent historic site, making it just 1,500 years old. However, this is unlikely given the radiocarbon dating evidence. In any case, it's likely that it is one of the oldest still standing trees in Great Britain, and this is a major reason as to why it was designated as one of the 50 Great British trees in 2002. Now, this leaves us with an important question. Why is it so hard to determine the tree's age? Well, it can be attributed to a disastrous human decision. In the mid-1990s, the church oil tank stood in the space between the two trunk fragments. However, this was moved when it was realized that the tree was ancient. When this tank was built, a lot of the dead wood was removed from the site, and this in turn led to the destruction of valuable evidence, making it more difficult to properly place an age on the tree. It's also worth mentioning that this yew is the subject of its fair share of folklore. According to local tradition, the church is inhabited by an ancient spirit known as Englishtor, which translates to recording angel or evangelist in English. This tradition holds that every year at Halloween, a booming voice foretells the names of parishioners who will die the following year. Believe it or not, the folklore tells of a disbelieving local man who challenged the existence of the spirit one Halloween night. In response, he heard his own name called out, and he died within that year. Number 6. Old Tajiko While Old Tajiko may be small, it's also pretty fierce. That's because this tiny 5-meter tall tree is considered to be one of the oldest on the planet. First identified in Sweden's Fulafaliet National Park in 2008, Old Tajiko is a thin Norway spruce that stands alone and isolated. 
While in its current iteration, it's likely only a few hundred years old, old Tajiko has a special talent. It's a clonal tree. This means that whenever the top stem of the tree dies, an ancient root system below creates a new one, making it extremely difficult to truly bring down this weathered old tree. Now, while it is difficult to know exactly how old the root system is, carbon dating was able to pinpoint its age to about 9,500 years old, and it began growing in the harsh tundra shortly after the glaciers receded from Scandinavia at the close of the last ice age. For reference, this was so long ago that humans were only just learning how to plow fields, making its age pretty incredible. While anyone is free to visit this tree, I should warn you that at the moment it's not in the best shape. That's because in February of 2023, a mountain guide who had visited the tree recently reported that unusually heavy snow had broken off the top portion of the tree. While the damage has left the tree looking pretty tough, the good news is that it will survive. And while its upper stem may be damaged, the ancient root system underground is still intact and ready to produce a new stem when necessary. If you still like to visit the tree despite its damaged state, the best way to do so is by visiting the national park and taking a tour. While it is technically possible to go there alone, park guides much prefer bringing the couple to Old Tujiko themselves for the sake of the environmental protection. Given its age, I'd say that those concerns are pretty understandable. Number 5. Jayashri Mahabodhi Most of the trees on this list were planted naturally, but Jayashri Mahabodhi is one of the oldest trees on the planet to be planted by a human with a recorded planting date and history. Located in the Mahamenwa Gardens in Sri Lanka, the age of this fig tree began 2,600 years ago when a certain Lord Gautama Buddha sat with his back against the tree on the banks of the Naranjan River. As he sat against the tree, it said that the Buddha achieved enlightenment, and it was this enlightenment status that immediately made this tree extremely holy. Due to its venerated status, relics from it became very valuable, and as such, a certain emperor Asoka of India told a nun to take a branch off the tree and present it to the king of Sri Lanka. He would go on to plant it in 288 BC, and ever since, it's been cared for and protected by Buddhist monks. Over time, it's been surrounded by statues, water canals, golden fences, and walls making it a very well-built-up holy site. And so it should come as a little surprise that this has led to many vows and offerings being made by Buddhists at the foot of this sacred fig tree. Yet despite all these protections, the tree has faced existential threats. For example, in 1907 and 1911, two storms resulted in broken branches. In 1929, a vandal attacked the tree. In 1985, Tamil tiger separatists stormed the site and massacred 146 Buddhists on the upper terrace. Despite all these threats, the tree has remained standing and intact. And so long as this continues, it will remain the oldest cultivated tree in the world with a documented written history. It's also worth noting that the tree's religious significance is still very real. There's a general belief that making offerings to the tree can produce significant and positive changes in one's life. In particular, it's customary for many Buddhists to make special vows before the tree for delivery of safe and healthy babies, while it's also common for local farmers to offer the tree rice prepared from their first paddy harvest. So yeah, it is fair to say that the tree has a special place in the hearts of many people. Number 4. The Aspen Pando while the aspen named Pando's root system gives it a spot on this list, it does stand apart for more than just its age. That's because its sheer size makes it the single largest and heaviest organism on the planet. You see, while most trees are simply a trunk with roots, this aspen functions entirely on a different level. That's because rather than just having one set of roots, all its roots are interconnected to create a giant organism consisting of over 40,000 individual trees. Now, it's known as Pando. This massive tree was first classified in 1976 by Jerry Kemperman and Burton Barnes. After some measurements in 1992, it was estimated that it comes in at about 6 million kilograms. And while the trees that inhabit it come and go, the organism itself is thought to be ancient, as the underground root system is about 16,000 years old. Now, if you'd like to visit this incredible tree for yourself, you're going to have to venture to the Fremont River Ranger District of the Fish Lake National Forest, which is located in south-central Utah. And while it's been around for millennia, you may want to travel there quickly. The Aspen Pando's lifespan may be coming to a close. That's because a combination of new challenges such as drought, human development, grazing, and fire suppression have threatened to cut its life short. In fact, the problem is so bad that some scientists believe that Pando could die within the next hundred years if nothing is done to fix the problem. In fact, in 2017, Paul C. Rogers of Utah State University found that the Pando wasn't growing, telling the New York Times that, quote, If this were a community of humans, it would be as if a whole town of 47,000 people had only 85-year-olds in it. Where's the next generation? End quote. 
As such, the Aspen Pando's health appears to be in serious decline, and there will need to be some changes implemented in order to reverse its downward spiral. Number 3. Methuselah Now, when it comes to trees, the one that holds the official title for being the world's oldest is Methuselah. It's named after the biblical figure Methuselah, who supposedly lived for 969 years. This special tree outlived him, and it's believed to be an astounding 4,854 years old. Now, for reference, this makes Methuselah far older than the ancient Romans or even the ancient Greeks, and this longevity can be attributed to its special features. You see, Methuselah is a great basin bristlecone pine. Now, they're known as extremophiles. This type of tree grows very slowly. However, it's truly an example about how being slow and steady can win a race. As Methuselah is able to withstand extremely cold temperatures, dry soils, high winds, and short growing seasons without much difficulty. The second factor is related to its location. Methuselah is located high in the White Mountains of Inyo County in Eastern California. This area is a national forest, and it's known as the Forest of the Ancients due to the large quantity of other older trees in the area, and it can be presumed that its remote location is contributing to Methuselah's longevity. What can't be presumed is that the weather had anything to do with it. After all, despite common wisdom that a tree would grow better in a good climate with lots of shelter and access to nutrients, Methuselah lives in a harsh environment. The soil is patchy, winds are fierce, and temperature is cold, yet despite this, Methuselah has perfectly adapted to this semi-arid boreal climate. However, there is one condition on Methuselah's world record. That's because in a technical sense, Methuselah is only the world's oldest non-clonal tree. What this means is that Methuselah is not a genetic duplicate of a parent organism. In other words, Methuselah germinated 4,854 years ago and has survived without any sort of death and cloning afterwards. Alright, this still leaves us with an important question. How was Methuselah discovered? Well, the story goes that in 1957, two men by the name of Edmund Schulman and Tom Harlan were conducting research in the area when they happened upon Methuselah. They then took samples and soon pinpointed its germination date to 2832 BC. In any case, if you'd like to visit, all you gotta do is travel up to the White Mountains to an elevation of about 3,300 meters above sea level, and while seeing the tree is a pretty incredible experience, you'll have to brave the high elevation, temperature, and long travel times in order to get there. Number 2. Prometheus while the world of tree research is usually a pretty tame one, the case of Prometheus was a shocking scandal, and the true story behind its death has still not been uncovered to this day. Prometheus was a tree loved by all who saw it, a bristlecone pine located high up in Wheeler Peak in eastern Nevada. Prometheus was well known by local mountaineers. While it's not entirely clear why it received that name, in ancient Greek mythology, Prometheus was an immortal who brought fire, which is a symbol of knowledge, to humans. And Prometheus, the tree, certainly imparted its fair share of knowledge to us humans. However, this was all flushed down a proverbial toilet, when in the summer of 1964, a geographer by the name of Donald R. Curry got his hands on it. He was doing research on Ice Age glaciology in the moraines of Wheeler Park, and he had been granted permission from the United States Forest Service to take core samples from numerous bristlecone pines so he could try to find the age of the glacial features those trees were growing on top of. In other words, he was not an expert on trees, but a student of geology, and part of his geologic research he studied the widths of rings inside the area's bristlecone pines in order to determine their age. Now, from here, the story gets hazy. There are several accounts of how Prometheus met its end. Some say Curry's increment borer, which was the tool he used to take the core samples, broke off inside the tree, therefore damaging it. Others say he didn't know how to core such a large tree, that the borer was too short, or that Curry felt he needed a full cross-section to better examine the rings of the tree. Yet, speculation aside, we may never know exactly what was going through Curry's mind. However, one thing is certain is that Curry had, in effect, permission to cut down the tree. Counting the rings later revealed that Prometheus contained 4,862 growth rings, and due to the harsh conditions in the area, it's likely that Prometheus didn't receive a growth ring every year and was instead about 4,900 years old. This would make it the oldest tree ever. However, now that it's been cut down, other bristle cones have been able to surpass it. Well, today it's still possible to visit the stump where Prometheus once stood, and in my eyes, it's a sad testament to what happens when science is poorly conducted. Number 1. El Erce Milenario In recent years, there's been some evidence to suggest that El Erce Milenario may just be the world's oldest tree. 
located in the coastal mountains of Chile's Alerce Costero National Park, Alerce Millenario is massive, coming in at 60 meters in height and featuring a 4 meter wide trunk. The tree is in many ways hanging in there by a thread. It's covered with moss and lichens. It's believed to be that this Patagonian cypress is mostly dead. According to Jonathan Barishevich of the Austral University of Chile, quote, only 28% of the tree is actually alive, most of which is in the roots. So when people walk across the nearby soil, they're actively damaging the last remaining living parts of the tree, end quote. This has made it incredibly difficult to determine whether or not this tree holds the record. Now, it turns out Mr. Barishevich was behind an initial attempt to date the tree. He has a special connection to it. After all, his grandfather, who was a park ranger, discovered it about 50 years ago. This has made it an object of fascination for him, and in an attempt to learn more about it, he recruited his colleague Antonio Lara to determine its age. Typically, a tree's age will be found using a technique known as dendrochronology also known as tree ring dating. It's the scientific method of dating tree rings to the exact year they were formed. Now, according to Dr. Edward Cook of University of Columbia, tree ring dating is the golden standard because, quote, the only way to truly determine the age of a tree is by dendrochronologically counting the rings, and that requires all rings being present or accounted for, end quote. This means that an inability to do this puts any age record into question. Now, in terms of this tree, it was too scarred to fully drill into the trunk due to all the risks. After all, in order to count tree rings, you need to bore into the tree, and in older species where the internal core is damaged or rotten, this can cause serious damage. However, in 2020, the two men decided to put their fears aside and core the tree with an increment borer. Now, this is a T-shaped drill that scientists use to excise narrow cylinders of wood without harming the tree. And after getting partway through, the plug of the wood yielded around 2,400 tightly spaced growth rings. However, this borer wasn't able to reach the tree's center, and as a result, they turned to statistical modeling to determine the age. By using complete cores from other trees in the area and plugging in the information surrounding environmental factors and random variation, he created a model that would estimate the tree's age. The method yielded an overall age estimate of 5,484 years old, with an 80% chance that the tree has lived for more than 5,000 years. While this makes it older than any of its competitors, it's still not enough certainty to give this tree the official record. However, the topic is certainly up for debate, so let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.